walking out the way. Now listen, ain't it crazy? Shoot the best of your journey. This time I saw you, lady. This time I saw you. We were walking out the way. Thank you very much for everyone. It's been ace. We've had a right good laugh. All right, Bernard. Uncle Bernard. Um, but no, thank you everyone that's been involved. Everyone that's made it happen. And uh, it's been a laugh. And let's have another 10 years, I reckon. Tracy, can I do another 10 years? I think so. Right, thank you very much, everyone. Thanks for coming. We'll see you all soon. Cheers. Mike, try and make it over the first jump. Okay. Yeah, no, right, Layton, the winner of his own race. After 10 years, it's finally happened. No, Leighton's beaten him, unlucky. <laughs> Cruising 9 to 12 final is go. Young's got a good one from the outside, but Hindley's got his best skate of the day at the inside. Eli Lamb is edging in front, though, by about half a whisker of a whisker. And then that shuff Young. It is Lamb just by about half a bank. Hindley has not done them. They go into the step up. Hindley manuals. It might have cost him on that occasion. Just hit a little bit. So Eli Lamb leading into turn number two. Hindley in the second spot. Young Sylvester's working his way up. He's not over with. Jumps into the jump a little bit on a jump bike. Final straight action then. Eli Lamb setting himself up for it. Driving out of the turn. Hindley with one last push as he Sylvester picking through the three. Now the winner of the 9 to 12 year old cruisers. Uh, where's Scott? I've got to give you this bit. Scott, stop chatting. <laughs> right, the riders are out of the game. Flues gets snapped, but he's got a guy right in there with him as well. This is going to be a good race. Arnie Esselman. Is Jackson in there? Yeah, he's in about four. But coming round, looking rapid. All the way to 2.5 of Arnie Ausserman, the cruiser specialist. He's in there, Cashew Flukes in two. Picking it up in three, coming down, that's ID. Oh, it's going to be tight. The line Jackson's going through, he might nick that third. Right, as ready, watch the gate. Whitaker's got the snap. He's coming over on Mansi, but Mansi's edged him out into the step up, step down. First turn action, then Mansi inside, Whitaker outside. I think Moss is just there or there back. So too is Connor Blythe in the four spot. So Mansi at the moment, leading from Whitaker. But Whitaker's been working a little bit this winter up in Derby. Moss isn't done either. Here comes Luca Mansi. Can he hold on to the win this time? Into the final turn. Mansi, Whitaker, Blythe. Mansi's got low. Whitaker's wound it up a little bit. Here we go. Then sharpen your pencils on the finish line. Whitaker, Mansi. Oh my golly gosh, that was a close. <laughs> 22 
two years they've been riding together, you still cannot separate them. Woo! Well, Marco out there straight away, but he's got one in the corner on him. On the inside, here we go. We've got a race on Norbert Marco, the local Bournemouth rider, out there. We've got Kev Merrin in there. David Bishop, but it is Marco out the lead. Can't see anyone getting near him at the moment. Merrin's back in three. But Marco coming down the last straight, he's going to take the win. Is it going to be tight for second? Kev Merrin got him in the tank. He's going to ride in three. Pocket Rockets, the little tights on little bikes are oh, going. It is the Andover shirt of Atlas Lewis Field leading us into turn number one. Followed by Alfred and Galvi Most. On the inside is the Gosport. Fin is that Finley Thomas or Jasper Eels? I'll catch them on the second straight, don't you worry about that. Here we go then. It is Atlas Lewis Field from Jasper Eels with Finley Thomas in the field at the moment. It's all getting the headwind. Last straight action then. Looks to me. At the field, but Finley Thomas is not done yet. Lewis Field, Thomas. Lewis Okay, go down on these guys. Who's the first to show? Wow! He hit the turbo. Sullivan straight out there. Southwest one out of Bristol. Marco's in there as well, is he? Yeah, he's in the second hanging on. But Sullivan, he flew out of that gate. He's lost one right to go down, but... Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Still leading out. Marco in there, in the two. We've got a battle on the 15 rider. I'll pick it up as they come round. Now he's uh, Dominic Zaphanos in there, in the three. But it will be Sullivan taking the win. Marco going through two. Yeah, give him a round of applause, everyone. Oh, there's a couple, I think. Strike. Who's got the front? Got to take it to the front. He is Joseph Dewis leading away. Malachi's in there in the three. Go on, Malachi says Scott. Not quite enough at the moment. He's in the third spot. You've got Betty Wills in about the five at the moment. Winding it up into the second straight. Back in my direction then. Dewis leading it out from Hendrix Hind on the one S play and the Hawks guy of Malachi in the three. Go on. Here comes Betty Wills making a move at the inside. Stocking in the game. Can't make it stick at the moment. So it's the 5 2 second holding on to the third spot. That's Luca Chuff. Final turn then. Keep your eyes on it. It is absolutely shoulder on his shoulder. Oh my golly gosh! The sniper came out and took them both back. And 5 2 7 Christmases came at once. All the way from Exeter. Luca Chuff is going to go going back. A very happy guy from Malachi Smith. In the two. Oh, what happened? Wow, flying out of the boat. Right, that is Jacob Anderson leading out the bricks, and this guy is flying. Got bags of potential. Looks like he's grown a bit as well. So uh, he's flying around the boat. Number one from last year, did well in the nationals, and uh, he's doing well at the the battle is on for three, three guys coming around that last corner together. Who's going to hang on to it? As Anderson goes through, he's going to take the win. The 159 in there will come in in two. That's Bone and Morris.
10 year old A final, is it go? And it is late and hard in up the inside. Galatis is level with him on Brawny Payne is not done in Dustin. Ella Lamb shuffled back to about the five or six at the moment. Winding it up into the second straight action. Layton Harding looking good. Had a kick around on the football pitch a couple of weeks ago. Man of the match there. Man of the match today. Edging back towards him though. Here we go. Third straight. Harding from Payne and the guy from Gospel. Harry Swells in the three at the moment. Looks like Galatis has not had it his way today. Here comes Harden, last straight. Payne's looking for a way through. Harden's dropped a little bit off the bottom. But Cramps through the line to take the win in the 10 year old. Hey, Brian. Right, gate goes down. Who's out there first? Oh, we've got some fast riders in this one. Looks like Andover's in there leaning out. If I got it right, we'll check them out as they come round. Yeah, looks like Andover rider leaving it out currently. Bang it, bang it, bang it! James Miller and Andy will take it out as they come towards us now. We just need the two, five, eight, yep. That is James Miller and over looking very quick. Had a good race coming down. He's going to take... Oh, he's been passed coming down last straight by another than the four plate of Joshua Sylvester. <laughs> 12 year old final. He's good. Oh, Elvis Lawrence hasn't quite got it. It is Ronnie the Rocket up the inside. He's got oh, it. He's left. He's left on the first straight. Good position to be in. Turning into the second straight, coming back down this one. Ronnie the Rocket, Elvis Lawrence coming back in. Eli Lamb is an over him, all over him. Don't write him off, he had a cruiser with up through the double. Here comes the charge from Elvis Lawrence though. Shuffling up, elbow to elbow, into the last corner. What is going to happen here? They are locked together. Back towards me. Who can show us? Oh, into the last jump we go. Elvis Lawrence takes the win. So it's went down battling for first. Allowing Eli Lamb for the two and Logan Young for the. Gate goes down. Very quick on that inside there. Oof. Check them out as they come around. These are the 13 and 14 girls. This is their A final. And uh, this is racing at its best. Great to see all these girls out there. And as they come around, it is the 1.5. Amelia Eaton leading out the 911, the Porsche 911, a leveling Leary. In the two spot. Three play coming down, gonna be a chase to the line, but looking like she's got it. 634 Ford. Esme Ward. Eaton getting the win. Right, here we go. This is going to be a good one. Don't blink. Oh, yes, Cody, is he hanging on to it? Just about powered his way through. So it's Coca out in the lead at the moment. As he come round, who's going to be in there? Will Cox is going to be in there first. He is in there in two. And the 0-5-1, is it? Cameron Cox in three, but... Coca, he's been on fire all day. Going to go down and take the win here at Bournemouth Deep South Series. No pressure in that one. Sixteen year old A final is go. Zach Twitching got the best start he's had all day. He's just got sucked up by Jay going into the first tether. So Jay Young from Twitching. Turn number one, Jay Young leading us out. Moon will be there or thereabouts. He's there in the three at the moment, I think. So into the turn number two. Back in my direction. We have Chad Young. Do you know the move comes from Moon at the moment? He's gone for the high low. Stuck it in, the twitch it into the final turn. Shuts it down. So, Young holding it at the moment for Moon. Here comes Moon with one last big effort. It isn't going to happen. The winner, the 15 year old, they find it. Takes a while to get back in.
Right, here we go, the girls getting it. Bar to bar coming in this first turn, looking good at the moment. Good racing again from the girls who set the day. Very competitive. 15, 20 years ago, there'd only be about two or three riders in a class if you're lucky and coming on round. Look at this. 277 out there in the lead. Billy Ross here on the home track from Bournemouth. Make some noise, Bournemouth. Your girls coming home. Yeah. Second place, 797. Lauren Keller out of Gospel. And the four, my nine, I think. Come on, Megan. Page Cathcart, Thomas. I think these two ladies are in the younger class. Here come the girls. It is Adam O'Tenzin from lane two. Samantha Baird in the second spot. Shuffling in there as the girl it was Godfrey on the inside. Can she make anything to happen? Godfrey in the three then, Baird in the two. You have got the charge coming from Pody, Harmer from Biddeford in the four at the moment. Making away when the outside is really And Lacey Baird and Hannah Hedges. So, all the way down the third straight, into the final corner. Oh, Godfrey's exited right. I'm not sure what happened there. That's left Tanza, but the battle is two and three. Tanza looks like she's good for him. Thinks she's won it on Grand Prix. Baird's manual him. Harmer's coming Hello. through with a crank. Baird's yeah. not quite held on. I think Harmer got the two. The winner. You'll like this. Right, here we go. Looks like Cassie's got a snap at her coming across from the outside. Who is that? Beth and Cowley was there, but still the local girl out there at the moment, Cassie Harley. Oh! Jason, they've got a rider, Jason, they're down. But Cassiard is tough. She's green her teeth. She's going into this last corner. Can she hang on to it? Three riders close together coming down. Hardy's got it in the bag at the moment. Just needs to keep rolling. Nicky Parr, Nicky in the second spot. 50 plus Grand oh, Vex. Hold on, Jeff, Jeff's asking us a question. Jeff, what? Is that on show? Forty and over final. He's going. Lee Hunt has got a good enough start from the inside. Stark is going after him in the second place. He'll be having that salmon's edged up. Through his hand over teammate to take over the second slot. Back towards the second straight. Lee Hunt mandling up. Salmon's still about two, three bike lengths behind, maybe. Maybe not that. Going into the second turn then. Hunt from the one. Here comes Salmon. Younger guy. Has he got the fitness? Stark stopped up. He's playing the third at the moment. Redmond in the four and Simon Farmer in the five. Last straight then. Hunt. Wait in his teeth. Is the lactic acid going to get him? Here comes Salmon. They are elbow to elbow in each other's pocket. Oh, Hunt. Just about held on from the salmon there. High fives in the finish line. Attack, attack, attack! Casey Markley leads it out at the moment. Last race of the day. Is anyone going to get near him? They are trying. Essamon's in there. But, oh, he's flying Markley around here today. He remembered what race he was in as well, which always helps. So 43 in there as well on the Asylanian 2, picking it up, who's going to join him? But Markley going to go down, win the day, win the one, last race of the day. Thank you very much for coming today, we've still got one out on track. Take your rubbish home with you. Don't forget, and if you take it all round John's house. Put it outside his front door.